this is Katie. In today's video, I know that the shadows are real good, A plus. I know you guys are excited. So, also in today's video, we're gonna try some weird allergy friendly snacks. A lot of you guys know that I am on a very strict diet right now and a lot of my meals are uh, pretty simple and pretty much the same most days. I eat a lot of sandwiches, a lot of like chicken and potatoes and like meat and all that kind of stuff. But every once in a while I wanna try some snack foods and I'm in Charleston right now and there's a little health food store called Earth Fair and I went there and grabbed just a couple snacks that I thought sounded interesting um, that I also can eat even with all of my dietary restrictions and so I just wanted to try them on camera, talk to you guys, show you guys some of these weird things. I got four things to try. Two of them sound like real weird, like weird. Um, and then the other two actually kind of sound pretty good that like I'm really interested in trying. So if you are interested in watching me just try out and rate some allergy friendly snacks, I really hope that you're subscribed and I hope that you keep watching. Okay, so I kind of want to go in order of like least weird, in my opinion. You guys might eat these like for fun on a normal basis, but at least to me, I want to kind of start with like what seems the least weird or abnormal in terms of my diet and then go to the weirdest or go to the one that I don't think I'll like the most. I think this one I'm not going to like. I'm going to try that one last. This is also, I'm going to try these two first. Okay, this one. Okay. <laughs> this is like the least to me, in my opinion, these are not like the weirdest foods in the world, but they're just more like unique in terms of what my diet can handle. And this actually sounds really, really delicious. These are watermelon lemonade dried jerky. It's like fruit jerky. Can you see this? So in my head, this is just like, what I'm assuming is gonna be like a fruit leather or um, I think it's gonna taste like candy. I think it's just gonna taste like candy. Um, it's by the brand, I don't know, Watermelon Road Snack Company. And it says the happy healthy on top of it. So we'll see. And they had a bunch of different flavors. Oh, also, could you tell that I was in a blue theme? I know this is like a green blue, but still, I got blue themed snacks today. Okay, but let's try these. They had a few different flavors in these. This is the watermelon lemonade, obviously, and this is just watermelon and lemon juice, but they had like, um, hold on. Oh no. Oh no, that does not smell good. Mm, that does not smell good. No, the more I smell it, the worse it gets. I gotta stop smelling it. <laughs> they had like a pineapple one, they had a mango one, but I figured that this one, I don't know, might taste good. It comes like this. I really hope that the shadows are not horrific. Comes like this. I, I'm not even entirely sure what to do with it. Okay, cool. Um, okay, also, yes, I do have frying pans sitting next to me in my car. Don't ask. Um, all right, so it looks like this. I really thought this was gonna be like the least like jarring to my taste buds. Um, it's very sticky. It's kind of like a like a fruit roll up. Is that what it's gonna taste like? All right, cheers. gets better <laughs> the more you chew it um it's very sticky very very sticky not as sticky and chewy as a fruit roll-up but similar ish texture somewhere between a fruit roll-up and like a fruit leather you guys know those things i don't like it though i don't like it i have, um i don't know if i would continue eating this i definitely would not buy it again stuck in my teeth. I hate when things get stuck in my teeth. I don't know why I was assuming that it wasn't going to be very sticky. Like when it said like jerky, dried fruit jerky, I was thinking, yeah, it would be chewy, but I didn't think it would be this sticky. It's not horrible. Definitely not the worst thing I've ever had, but it's not good. I'd give it like a four out of 10. I definitely would not buy that again. I probably wouldn't even eat anymore. Dang it. That's weird. I thought this was going to be good. Maybe the other flavors would have been better. I do have a Pomplamoose LaCroix to, you know, cleanse my palate. 
don't think that's how that works. All right, it's always a little uh, disappointing when like the one thing that you think you're gonna like uh, ends up being not good. So <laughs> let's cross our fingers for the next ones. These, I'm very excited to try. And here's the thing, I'm pretty sure I bought these before, but didn't try them because I bought them right before I got sick last year. A lot of you guys know that I've been dealing with like, like an esophagus disorder and stuff. And so I had to cut out a lot of foods. And so for a little while I was not eating beef. I was not eating anything fatty, but I'm pretty sure I, I had these then just like gave them away to someone, but I'm trying them now because I can eat beef again. These are the Kalahari crisps. These are air dried beef chips. This is a beef chip. This, this is a beef chip. I'm very excited for these. I just got the original flavor. I think they had a couple different ones, but literally it's beef, salt, vinegar, um, and then a couple seasoning things like black pepper, red pepper, coriander. But the whole thing is 100 calories, which is very cool. It's actually, the whole thing's only two grams of fat too, so that's actually cool, but 20 grams of protein. So, I mean. All right, I'm gonna smell it, because I smell everything, but I'm a little nervous. Mm, wait. That gave me a lot of emotions at once. Okay, at first it smells like a dog food store. And then like right at the end, it smells like steak. Um, so this is not jerky. It's not chewy, anything like that. These are chips. These are like crispy-ish. Did something fall? These are crispy-ish. I said that top is jiggling. Mm. All right, ready? Cheers. No, thank you. No, thank you. No, thank you. Okay. Wow, well, that's salty. Wow. Um, okay. I don't like it, but similar to this, uh, not not flavor wise <laughs> my opinion is <laughs> similar to that one where like it's not the worst thing I've ever had but I don't like it I would not buy this again that was weird it's weirdly a little spicier than I thought it was gonna be not in a bad way spice is fine but ooh, did the shadows go away because the sun moved whoa um anyway I'm gonna try another little bite it's definitely not man I don't know what I expected let's be real here when you're like talking about crispy beef No. Texture is interesting. It is crunchy, but like a tiny bit chewy. Hmm. I'm confused about these. They're very salty, very salty, like too salty. Um, they taste okay. Like I probably wouldn't buy it again, but I feel like this would be better if you ate it with something else because it's very salty and very like savory rich. This has high in protein and packed with enough flavor to satisfy all of life's cravings. Absolutely not. I mean, I'd give it like a, for what it is, give it like a five. Like it's really good protein. So this might be something that I'm like, oh, I know I need some protein, I'll have like a bite. But besides, it's just, it's a weird, I love crunchy. Crunchy food is my favorite food, but when it's beef, like, cause it doesn't taste like crunchy bacon. I feel like crunchy bacon is like the type of meat that you can have crunchy and it makes sense. This does not make as much sense. If you've ever had these, let me know in the comments. If you've ever had any of this, let me know in the comments what your opinions are. I would give that like a five. Maybe if, maybe if, no, I'd, uh, five. <laughs> I'm gonna keep it out of five. All right, man. And those were the two that I was pretty like, yeah, these are probably gonna be pretty good. These last two, I'm a little worried about. I think we're gonna try these first. So these are, Plantain chips, which I've had before, right? Everyone's had plantain chips, are pretty good. These are salt and vinegar flavored, which in my head, a plantain and salt and vinegar do not go together. Um, but I wanna try them because I love, <laughs> I was gonna say I love salt and vinegar lays. I can't eat those anymore. I think there's dairy in them, um, but this made me laugh. It says <laughs> on the back, it says, what is it about plantain chips? And then underneath it says, don't ask questions, just eat them. <laughs> Dang, that's bossy. All right, let's try this. I'm kind of surprised that did not just explode everywhere. All right, smell test. No. 
Oh, that smells disgusting. That smells gross. All right, but these are the brand banana. Barnana? Banana? Barnana? Barnana. That's a confusing logo. This is Barnana, but it's a little confusing. Anyway, yeah, so I like regular plantain chips just fine, but salt and vinegar seemed weird. Oh, and these are kettle cooked too. All right, look very cute. Look very cute. All right, oh goodness, cheers. They just taste like plantain chips. And they didn't really taste the salt and vinegar. And there's white distilled vinegar and apple cider vinegar in here. You got double the vinegar and I can't even really taste that. Mmm. Okay. A little bit. No. No, these are fine. I'm very neutral about these. Can you tell by my face? I have very little opinion. Mmm. I'll give them like a six. Mm. Very neutral about it. Because they don't really taste like salt and vinegar. Like not really at all. They mostly just taste like plantain chips. Which are fine. It's like the hint of vinegar. And they already have salt on them because they're plantain chips. So um, they're fine. They're okay. They're fine. Alright, last thing. Hold on. Let me, hold on. Alright, this. Everything is basically backwards of what I thought it was gonna be. So now I'm just, I have no clue what opinion to have before I try these. Um, these are Crispy Cuts Pork Rinds Island Barbecue Flavor. I don't know what any of that means. Um, first of all, I have never, ever, ever had a pork rind. Kind of weirds me out. But this is Island Barbecue Flavor, um, which I guess is like pineapple. <laughs> It's fried pork rinds, cane sugar, salt, pineapple powder, spices, paprika, and then a couple other spices. Um, all natural, airy puffs, I like that term, airy puffs, gluten free. Again, all this, in terms of my diet, all this fits in totally fine. I like this, it has pictures. You can put them in a salad, you can dip them in stuff, or I guess you can put a canoe on your truck. <laughs> That's what you do with these. Anyway, all right, uh, I'm barbecue. Oh, okay. Mm, okay. All right, smell test, nervous. I mean, I'll give it to him. It smells like an island barbecue. All right, um, these are way bigger than I thought they were gonna be. That's a big boy. This is huge. These are big. I don't know why I thought they were gonna be tiny. I guess from the front cover. Anyway, I'm just nervous. I'm nervous because I've never even had a regular pork rind, but this flavor, sounded very interesting but I mean look at the picture a little island getaway all right ready okay cheers how do, do I bite it mm. oh okay I know I didn't actually eat it yet but the, <laughs> the seasoning is actually pretty good all right how come it feels like styrofoam Gross. I gotta clean my car. Honest question. Is the texture supposed to be like styrofoam? This is like, like a styrofoam peanut. Oh, now it's like a paste in my mouth. Oh, here's my issue with these. Who is so loud? Uh, <laughs> a couple bikes with me. No, this I gotta spit out. Here's my issue with these. Oh, it feels like it's like stuck in the back of my throat. All right, all right, all right. The flavor is actually pretty good. Like, it's pretty good. The texture of this? What is this? It says airy puff. Yeah, right. No, this tastes like a styrofoam peanut. Not that I've ever had one, but like what you can imagine. That like, it's kind of crunchy-ish, but then it just turned into a paste in my mouth. Is that what they all do? Or is that just like I got bad ones or something? Or is that just the texture? And I just don't like the texture. Wow, I batted a zero in this little food haul today. That's not great. <sighs> Luckily, I know people who um, like, like pork rinds and will eat all the rest of this stuff. Dang it! I'm bummed. I'm really bummed. Because I wasn't just like trying to buy food that just sounded gross that I would waste. You know what I mean? Like I wanted it to seem unique, 
but I still wanted to like it all and eat it all. So dang it. Yeah, no, that texture, no thank you, thank you very much. Absolutely not. The flavor is pretty good though. Like if that flavor was on like a potato chip or something, but that texture, I really thought pork rinds were much airier and crispier and almost like they melted in your mouth. This turned into a paste. So again, let me know in the comments if I just got a weird batch or if that's just what they are and I just don't like them. I don't know, but that was not, that was not a fun experience at all. Cool. Well, I luckily also when I was out at the grocery store this morning, bought bagels. So I'm gonna like an allergy free bagel and some of my allergy free butter. So I'm gonna go back and have that. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching this little video. I hope that you enjoyed it. I'm really bummed that I didn't end up liking anything. Cause really like I was not trying to buy stuff just that sounded weird that I wouldn't like. I thought, and I thought I would like these cause I really like beef jerky and I thought that it would be like similar-ish. It is not. It is not, my friends. Um, yeah, I'm a little bummed, but I do know people who will eat it, so it will not go to waste. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I really hope that you enjoyed. I like doing videos like this where I can show you still some of the food that I'm able to eat with my diet. Please let me know in the comments any other food-related videos that you would like to see or just any other videos while I'm still in Charleston. I'll be here for maybe another week or two. Um, but yeah, thanks again for watching, and I hope that you have a wonderful day. I love you. Jesus loves you, and I'll talk to you later. Bye.